09 for the re-release of the entire Beatles music catalog. It's been remastered, giving a fresh sound to songs many consider timeless. But along with the release is something very timely. As Tara Nelson shows us, it's a chance to come together with the band like never before. They haven't released an album of original music in nearly 40 years. But if any band can still draw a crowd, it's the Beatles. I got 2,000 albums of the Beatles from all over the world. Alan Harrington may be first in line, but it stretches down the street behind him. From those who grew up listening... It's nice, it's beautiful, it's deeper. ...to those who were barely born when their hits topped the charts. Well, they're the Beatles, you know. Uh, they're the biggest band that the UK has ever produced. And now, they're back. The Beatles' entire 14-album discography completely remastered. And their debut in a video game. The Beatles' rock band allows players to pretend they're one of the Fab Four, sort of like karaoke, except it's more than just singing along to 45 of the band's biggest hits. Now, the whole point of rock band is that you don't have to know how to play a musical instrument. But that still doesn't mean it's easy. Following the screen isn't quite as simple as it looks on first try, but like the remastering of their music, it's a way to reach a whole new audience. It definitely is becoming a new legitimate medium for music to be released in. Because the old medium has skipped a groove. CD sales are dropping while digital downloads are soaring. The Beatles aren't sold online, and EMI, the company that owns the songs, is taking a hit, but insists this remastering is about the love of the music not the money. I think that if you're a real aficionado, you'll appreciate all the differences. If you listen to the first uh, version of the album and the new version, you'll definitely hear a difference. Of course, you have to take it out of the packaging first. After spending hundreds to buy both the box set and the rock band game, Alan admits he might not. Well, I'll keep that in the box. I don't know. I don't know. But I mean, I've got a cabin that's full of stuff, and it's a hobby, and it's passion. He may never know what a superstar he could be. Karen Nelson, <laughs> Global News, London. And that's Global National for Wednesday.